Well, hello. I'm back again. I'm out on a wild camp here. And, uh, just kicked up a bit of a rain shower. It's supposed to rain for a couple hours. And I thought, you know what? While I'm waiting for supper to cook, I got some squirrel on. And I picked some, uh, some puffball mushrooms. There's the woodland variety. And I figured, well, I'm, I'm waiting for the rain to kind of subside. And while supper's cooking away, I'll get to this tag video. So I was tagged by Rod from Free Camp K1. Uh, the general premise is about the video is I'm supposed to tell you some stuff about me, answer a bunch of questions. I don't remember any of the questions or anything of the sort, but uh, I'll go through some stuff, let you get to know a little bit more about me. Uh, just based on general comments that I have, got down in the comment section of different videos of late. So, I guess uh, the first thing would be, I've received a lot of comments uh, along the premises of, you know, having a lot of skills, wilderness skills, survival skills, stuff like that. Um, so contrary to popular belief, I am not trained in any capacity in wilderness survival or living. It's just something that I've always done. I've picked up. You learn a few things throughout the years. But am I certified or ticketed in any capacity? No. Um, I don't believe you have to be either, but that's just my opinion. Uh, you can see this smoke kind of wafting behind me. I get a little tiny smudge going in the gasifier it keeps the mosquitoes out of the lava uh, good little tip to know if if you know anybody does this kind of camping in Canada there's a lot of mosquitoes and this is a good way to keep them out of your tent uh, another thing about me is I'm not very social I'm not a big fan of people uh, I tend to keep to myself I don't like large groups I pretty much avoid society at every cost. Uh, if I'm going somewhere, I better be getting paid for it. So that might take some people by surprise, but it is what it is. Uh, something about me I would be willing to bet a lot of people don't know. So I live in West Central Alberta, Canada. The climates here are, you know, Hot, hot in the summer and cold, cold in the winter. It's uh, quite a unique place, but there's no other place I'd rather be. I don't desire to move anywhere else or change my living location. I will be here until I'm no longer here. Uh, what else is there? Oh, here's some, some cool news. So some of you know who, who I'm friends with on Facebook and the like. We have recently moved out to the country and are starting homesteading here. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we've done a lot of work this summer. It's really cut into the YouTube time. But, uh, you know, getting the house and, and fixing it up has been, it's been a lot of fun. It's been good. We get to make it our own. It's a small, tiny little house. And it's exactly what we were looking for. It's about seven years ahead of schedule as we didn't want to do it before the kids moved out our little house in the woods plan but the opportunity presented itself so we took it my favorite style of camping is wild camping uh, above all other videos that i make this is the one that i like the most i'm really a big fan of just going out where there's no people and and uh you know testing your merit learning learning how to be one with the land and to work with the land and utilize it I think that's very important part of why we do this you can you know bushcraft is a very loosely used term now I prefer to fall into the wild camping genre as it's not so full of tricks for lack of a better term a lot of the uh, bushcraft community is uh you know they're up in arms this isn't bushcraft that's not bushcraft if you're gonna bushcraft that's utilizing just stuff straight out of the woods and nothing else well yeah i don't care describe it however you want to me i choose to avoid all that i like to practice bushcraft while i'm wild camping 
I don't believe if I use a saw and you know an axe and and whatever that that doesn't mean it's not bushcraft and we're just tools that I'm using to meet the needs of what I want to construct out in the woods right but, uh, so there's something you didn't know about me I'm a little touchy about the whole perspective on bushcraft something else you may not know is about a community outdoors I hope you guys do know by now but I'm one of the founding people of a community outdoors we have a tight-knit group of people uh, we we really enjoy working together and it's been a blast so far season two has kind of been a flop and we're all really disappointed with that but uh, you know sometimes that happens it's not something that's gonna slow us down or, or bother us in any way but it was an idea that I had to try to bring the community together by all working together not ne necessarily in the exact same video but but each channel working toward the common goal separately so yeah that was a a big thing i think with me is is branching out even though i'm not social and and getting more involved with youtube and coming up with some creative ideas in different ways to you know explore these ideas i know it's been a short one and I apologize that I can't remember any of the questions, but uh, that's kind of what happens when you're more focused with being out in the woods, enjoying it, and, and uh, living the content rather than just trying to put some entertainment value video together. Um, yeah, anyways, till next time guys, keep outdoors.